Hi, welcome to my workshop. In this episode I will show you how I have built this mobile two-stage dust collection system for about $450. It is based on one horsepower backtool motor and equipped with a cyclone and a high efficiency air filter. If you are my Instagram follower, you can buy this filter now with 10% discount. It was designed by a specialist from filterprofessors.com and I, for small workshops, having efficiency, size and price in mind. There are numerous videos on YouTube about dust collection systems, but I thought I have still something new to show you. Perhaps you have small workshops and you don't want or you can't have a network of pipes running all over it. Perhaps portability is something that you are preferring. So this idea might be just a solution for you. I will start this project with an octagonal donut which is placed between the air filter and the bucket for the finest sawdust. I am setting my universal gauge to 22 and half degree angle. UG1 has a cheat sheet conveniently printed on it. Now I can set the tilt of a blade on my table saw to that angle quite precisely. I'm cutting 8 pieces of plywood, making sure I push plywood towards the fence. When the blade is tilted, saw has tendency to pull material to the left. Gripper push block prevents it. Blue painter's tape will act as a clamp for this glue up. It holds pieces of plywood firmly together and prevents glue from squeezing out. Once all the pieces are connected with a tape, I flip it over and apply glue quite liberally because joints need to be airtight. One of the pieces needs an opening for the dust port. I cut it with a jigsaw as it doesn't have to be perfect circle. The dust port is made of 4 inches round adjustable elbow used for HVAC systems. I'm using free washer head screws to secure it with plywood. Pre-drilling those holes and inserting screws is a bit of a challenge. Once securely in place, port needs to be sealed from inside and from the outside with a silicone. This is how it should look like. I am using scrap materials for this project. From the top, donut will be closed with MDF. I'm cutting opening in it for the air filter. Bottom is made of 3 quarter inch plywood or actually few scraps of it glued together. It will need an opening with a lip to sit on the bucket. Make sure the bucket fits perfectly. Time to glue the bottom and the top of the donut to the sides. I used bread nails to hold it in place. Then I clamped everything together for about 2 hours. Next step is to build a cart which will house all the elements of this dust collection system. I'm cutting two pieces of 4x4s. They are 56 cm or 22 inches long. I also cut a piece of plywood for the base which is 46 by 85 cm or 22 by 33 and half inches. If you want to build this, you would need to customize the dimensions based on the buckets you are using. I use Forstner beads to drill holes in 4x4s. Screws will secure those 4x4s to the base. I found on the curbside some fitness equipment with excellent quality casters, so I took it home. I knew it will get useful sooner or later. Now I just need to drill holes for screws to attach it to the base. And this is how finished base looks like. I'm inserting those curtain poles, also a curbside find, to the holes I drilled previously. Poles are 120 cm or 47 inches long. Main dust bucket with attached dust separator, also known as cyclo, will sit in there. Next to it there will be 5 gallon bucket on which earlier made donut will rest. The air filter goes on top of that. 
Off camera I made this bracket out of scrap pieces of 2x4s and plywood. Its arms also have deep holes drilled in them. As you might have guessed, it goes on top of the poles. Holes have to be tight, so some hammer persuasion is needed to put it all together. Motor with propeller goes on top. I'm using a backtool motor I got off Amazon. It will be perfect for my knees and it's powerful enough and quiet. I'm connecting exhaust with a dust port in a donut. I'm using HVAC 4 inch aluminium pipe. It is secured with an aluminium tape. I also need to connect a motor with a cyclone. For that I need only very short piece of 4 inches hose, which I'm cutting off a bigger piece. It will be secured with those clamps. Last thing is to attach a long hose to the cyclone. And this is my finished dust collection card. Let's see how it works. It seems to be sucking so dust well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and take advantage of promotional price of the air filter.